Hello YouTube, welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 3 The Definitive Edition. Sorry for the delay in today's part, I'm just a little busy with the GTA Online Contract DLC. But we're gonna continue from where we left off right here. And we're gonna be doing El Burro's missions now. El Burro is this um, payphone uh, mission that you unlock, he's the leader of the Diablos. And I highly recommend that you complete the El Burro missions before you finish the Mafia Leone missions and I'll explain that in a little bit. But anyways, let's answer the payphone right here. This is El Burro of the Diablos. You are new in Liberty, but already you are gaining a reputation on the streets. There is a street race starting by the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge. Get yourself some wheels and first through all the checkpoints wins the prize. Get a fast car and get to the starting grid. Well, uh, this car isn't gonna do well. Um, uh, what you're probably gonna want to do is um, steal an El Diablo car. Oh, here's one. Ironically, uh, El Diablo is the one who tells you to participate in the race. But um, or El Bur Burro, I should say, leader of the El Diablos. But um, uh, this is um, uh, this the uh, Diablo Stallion is actually one of the best cars in the game, and you can get this early on, and it spawns pretty common in Hepburn Heights. Decently fast. So this is the Turismo mission. Oh no, bus. Damn traffic, okay. And there's a trophy, um... Complete this race in under three minutes, I believe. And uh, even when you beat this uh, El Burro missions, you can always replay this race. However, it will be very difficult to do once you start doing the um, uh, when you finish the Mafia missions. Here we go, okay, got a little bit of damage there. I think we're still good though. Ah. Yeah, a lot of traffic in the way. Come on, out of the way, cars. Damn, I'm sorry for crashing. Just trying to get through them quickly, but there's a lot of traffic. I don't even remember this much traffic in the original mission. I guess because of the definitive edition, there's gonna be more cars in the streets. This is the worst part of the race, typically, um, once you beat the game, going through St. Mark's. Oh no, come on. Way ahead of all the racers, at least there's that. Alright, that was whatever with good things. Oh, and there's ice cream trucks. That's actually some of the rarest vehicles in the game. Here's a song you're not gonna find anywhere else. Except on one of the other 800 stations owned by Love Media, our sister stations. Rock and roll! It's Head Radio. Oh, come on. No, so close. Ooh, we got it. We got it. Complete it in 180 seconds. Oh man, the triads aren't the triads aren't letting us celebrate our victory here. Damn, they won't even get away from the car. 
I like how the police are doing nothing too. So yeah, Chinatown... Chinatown becomes a very hostile place, um, uh, once you complete Tony's missions. Let's go do El Burro's next mission, but also let's get some health before we do that. Okay, so here, right behind Tony's, um, mom's restaurant, you can get full health, and you can get body armor and an AK-47. It's like one of the best pickups in GTA history. Very easy pickup early in the game. Health, armor, and an assault rifle. Great place for everything. I scream, you scream. Oh, this one. I started my exotic entertainment business with nothing but the sizable contents of my leather pants. A gang of no-goods has threatened to remove my starring member if I don't pay them a cut. They threatened the wrong man, amigo. They have a weakness for the ice cream. Pick up the bomb I've hidden in hardwood. Hijack the regular ice cream van on its rounds and lure these fools to their doom with the jingly jingly. They hide in a warehouse on Atlantic Key. So notice how Burrow said almost like hardwood? That's what it sounded like to me. Which leads me to believe that neighborhood name might have been hardwood originally before they made it hardwood. Okay, so here we pick up El Burro's bomb. Find an ice cream van, okay. I'm trying to remember if, um... During this mission, doesn't the, um... Isn't there just an ice cream truck that you can steal right away? Right when you start in the original? Um, because I do remember this mission, but... I don't see any ice cream trucks right now. Okay, well, we'll find one. There it is. Okay, so now we take the, um, ice cream truck to Atlantic, um, a case, or keys, um, uh, so the gang that's extorting El Burro, I believe this is the Ferrellis that are doing this, and this is the last time chronologically that you see the Ferrellis in a, um, uh, in a GTA game. They have pretty much been wiped out. Every single Ferrelli member is dead. So it's, um, the Ferrellis are done. So when you first, the first time you actually saw the Ferrellis was in um, uh, in GTA um, in GTA 3, but chronologically that was their downfall. And then you see in the older GTA games, you see just how strong these guys used to be. And the Ferrellis seem to have taken over Vin, uh, Vincenzo's old warehouse. So this is the same place that Vincenzo used to operate from in Liberty City Stories. Okay, so right there, there are the Ferrellis. Now notice how this mission is called Ice Cream, You Scream, reference to Ice Cream, but instead it's Ice Cream. Well, it looks like their frozen dessert is their end. There we go, very easy mission. Plenty of SMG ammo, and they have like, um, they look like Leonis here, but these are the Ferrellis, I'm pretty certain. Okay, let's go do El Burro's other mission then. Trial by fire. Some insolent triad stole my beautiful car last night, wrecked it, and left it burning. Some of my most precious donkey memorabilia was in the trunk. Real collectibles that are irreplaceable, my friend. I've hidden a throbbing weapon on the edge of Chinatown. Take it and teach these triad vandals to fear El Boros well in that wrath. Arriba! So what's happened is the triads have taken one of El Boros, um cars and destroyed it. He's really angry over that. El Boro has a giant temper. Get you back. 
all this now remember the flamethrower how could I forget kill 25 triads This is just going overkill for Burrow's car getting burnt. So this this mission shows you what a psycho El Burrow is. Man, damn. Oh, I can't... I guess I gotta go around, but this is... When I, when I get close to them, oh man, this is gonna be <laughs> really bad when I get close to them. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Why are they just standing there? Okay. Look at that, I did that with 1% of health. Oh my god, I bet a lot of people can't believe that, right? I seriously have to get out of here, though. Ah, no. Oh. Oh well. But, you know, we did good, but, um, you know, that's, that's the thing about the flamethrower, is that the, with the flamethrower, um, you know, you have a risk of burning yourself. You, you can burn yourself and get lose a lot of health quickly, and on top of that, you have to be close to the enemies to use it. But I would like to see a flamethrower be added to, um, uh, I would like to see it be added to a new GTA game. So whenever a new GTA game comes out, I'd love to see it added. So this is just the introduction to the hospital here. And El Burro has one final mission, so let's go and do that right now. A thieving opportunist has stolen a van of my latest publication, Hub of the Press. But that spanked up idiot has left the rear doors open, and now my beautifully produced, tastefully photographed adult literature is being dropped all over Liberty. Take the van and follow that trail of Donkey Does Dallas volumes 1, 2, and 3, collecting it as you go. When you follow the trail to that thieving spank head, waste him. Then deliver my Donkey Derby to Triple X Max in the Red Light District. So El Burro's, um, adult movie, um, collection has been stolen, and the, um, uh, the thief left the back doors open of the van, and so now you gotta pick these up. You have a timer on this mission, and so you get a little bit of, you get, like, two seconds every, like, um, every pickup that you make, and so what gets hard about this mission is that, oh yeah, see that? Exactly what I'm talking about there. Okay, so don't miss any of them, and just keep going. Just keep looking for those, um, packages. At least, like, the ground is, like, kind of, like, glowing, so you can see exactly where you gotta go. Okay, here we go.
In the original, it was hard. Like, if you missed just, like, one, it messed you up. But also, you gotta, like, um... You gotta see exactly where it's going, because you cannot waste any time, because the timer will go down really quickly, and you'll fail. Oh, this. I remember in the original, I went straight to here. I went down the main road instead of turning, and... Uh, oh, here. Damn, 20 seconds. Okay, we gotta keep hitting this. Ah. Okay, this is the end right here. I'm pretty sure I remember this is, yeah. Oh. This guy, I think we have to kill him? Okay, it's just, it's weird how he just, it's weird how he just stands there. That's, um, that's kind of weird. Do we get chased in this mission? I'm trying to remember. I don't think we do. I think we just gotta drop the van off and we're good here. There we go. So that was El Burro's final mission, 20 grand. Pretty good payout for that mission. So, um, uh, that wraps up El Burro's missions. I know this part was a bit short today, guys, but I like to do the, um, uh, the parts in, like, specific sections. So, on this part, we did all of El Burro's missions, and on the next part, we'll finish up Salvatore's missions. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.